this video, I'm going to be rating on a scale from 1 to 10 Rankin Bass Animagic Christmas Specials. <laughs> um, you might be wondering, maybe if you just heard those words in conjunction together. Um, but Thanksgiving's still tomorrow. Well, good news. I do not care about Thanksgiving at all. I do not celebrate the silly colonial holiday. Um, and two, these are my special interests. So um, I could have talked about this any time around the year, but I thought it'd be better to do it somewhat around Christmas <laughs> where other people might be interested in it. I'm not doing all of them. I'm doing six, I think. I have them written on my arm <laughs> so I can remember. <laughs> I'm just gonna hop right into it. First off is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, 1964. The most, probably most well-known one. As you can see, I'm a big fan of Rudolph. I got my other Rudolphs over there. I have three Rudolphs. <laughs> I really, really, really love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But for that movie, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I love it. I love it a whole lot. Um, my main qualm, though, that <laughs> made me jock a point is that Santa Claus is really mean in it. And it makes me sad because I really like Santa Claus. I don't want him to be mean. <laughs> but other than that, I love the songs. I love the character of Rudolph so much. I really do love the songs, though. They're excellent. Um, love the Burl Lives narration, but I also love the song Clarice sings. That's one of my favorite ones. My Clarice is over there, too. <laughs> um, I really like it. Of course, it's not perfect, though. Um, which I need to acknowledge for all of these, even the ones that are my favorites. Um, everything is flawed, especially as these being old movies, some of them do have shortly shown like racial caricatures that were not acceptable even in the 1970s. You'd think that they would not have done that. Um, moving past that, my next one is <laughs> Santa Claus is Coming to Town. <coughs> That's, um, that one's my favorite. That's <laughs> um, my favorite movie. I love it so much. The songs in that one are just perfect. They're perfect. The story is perfect. I love the character of Jessica. Um, I've been meaning to make um, a doll of her, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> um, it's one of my very, very, very favorite movies ever. Um, I think it's excellent. And I think that people, even people who don't celebrate Christmas, if you like um, stop motion animation or pretty songs or anything, I think you should watch it. I think everyone should watch it. And that one is on YouTube um, if you want to watch it for free. So I highly recommend it <laughs> um, to people who are not. There's, of course, most people know it, but some people still don't like because they don't celebrate Christmas or something. Um, next. Um, so some of these are less well known. Next one I'm doing is Nestor, the Long-Eared Christmas Donkey. Um, I really like this one. This one has a 10 out of 10 for me, but it's more subjective to me. Um, some people might not like it as much. That one does have more of a Christian story with it, um, which some people will not vibe with as much. I did though, because I am a religious person. Um, and I really love that movie. I like it. Um, in some ways it is akin to Rudolph in that there's an animal character who is bullied and then becomes, I don't want to say useful, but does something important and people realize they treated him badly. Um, but that one's also very sad. Um, but I love it a lot and I really like donkeys <laughs> too. Next is the Leprechaun's Christmas Gold. Now this one is also not super well known. There's a reason for it. It's, it's not the best. <laughs> um, I give that one a 7 out of 10. Um, the music is not very good. <laughs> it's not. It's very, very plain and mediocre. The leprechauns in Ireland thing is very stereotypical, not super accurate. However, I still like it a lot. Um, I like the main character is very androgynous looking. It's cool. Um, I like it being about something that's not very Christmassy and still being a Christmas movie. Um, I think that's cool. Um, I think it's a nice one. It's It also seems a lot shorter for some reason. I'm not sure if it actually is or not. Next, um, The Year Without a Santa Claus. Um, also a very popular one. I love 
Be Your Real Santa Claus. I give that one 10 out of 10, definitely also. I really love the songs. Um, very iconic. Um, the Miser Brothers, <laughs> their songs are great. Um, Sophie, my sister and I are hopefully going to go as the Miser Brothers for Halloween next year. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, <laughs> I really like the narration by Mrs. Claus. I think that was unique. Um, and it, it was very funny sometimes. I'm sorry I keep laughing. I'm just, I really like talking about this. And I haven't been having a good day, so this is making me a lot gladder. Um, I really like that one. I really do. I like the story a lot, too. And last, but not least, necessarily, is Pinocchio's Christmas. Um, I really like that one. I, I like it. It's not the most Christmassy, but it is really nice. Um, I like it. It has a lot of things that are very accurate to the book Pinocchio, um, more so than the Disney um, version that most people are familiar with. This has different parts of the book and stuff that are very funny. It's a very funny book. I recommend it. Um, but so that's interesting to see. Um, <laughs> That's the main thing to say about it. Um, I'm sorry if this was a mess, but it was. it's really fun for me to talk about my special interests in a video. I get to wear my Rudolph suit and hold my Rudolph, my favorite Rudolph. Mm. So I hope you enjoyed this and um, Merry Christmas <laughs> in advance. It snowed last night. There's a snow here now, so it counts. Goodbye.